I'm in my room producing hits And when I mix it, pour some juice in it It's so prolific, it's that bougie shit And when the beat drops like this Yes my, yes my, yes my, yes my brother Baddest kid in the game, sick motherfucker Sounds hardcore, so Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel Where I provide my views On talented artists from around the world Both established artists and non-established artists And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever So why don't you come and join me In discovering amazing talented artists And bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view now, my next reaction, UK, we are going to check out Ren. This particular song is called Losing It. This is another Ren gem I found. <laughs> and there's so much more. I am going deep into the collaborations. Please check out Molly McKenna. Um, please check out um, Tichilla. Um, please check out Roman. There is so many, mate, and they are all as amazing as each other. They really are. If you haven't checked out Sam Tompkinson yet, slap yourself. Slap yourself right now. And Money McKenna. If you have not checked out Money McKenna, slap yourself right now. I, I mean it. I'll put my hands down this and slap you with this one. Because these are some serious artists that do need that platform of what we are doing for rent. Because these artists certainly deserve it as well. So if you're gonna support Ren, we support Ren's movement. Yeah, we support the artists who Ren feels that should be up there with him as well. And there is a number of artists that Ren has done collaborations with. I have no doubt in my mind that they should be on the same kind of level with when it comes to their talent, their vocals and everything else. And I'm sure Ren would agree with that as well. Yeah, so we not only we support Ren's movement. Yeah, so there's Ren and his Ren gems, brilliant. But Ren's got a movement, and this movement is the people that he's fortunate to do collaborations with, to share their talents. I don't know that will put a smile on Ren's face as well. So look, this is losing it. Fisher rap retake. Okay, so what am I looking out there for? Brilliant track, <laughs> brilliant vibe, making me laugh, uh, hyper, you know, that kind of thing. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for, mate. Great vocabs and a damn good feature of audio music. Can you dig it? Uh, Are you dizzy? Are you dumb? Fee fee bye bye bo bo bum. Couple Who's in. that kid that come from right time? I'm in my room producing hits, and when I mix it, pour some juice in it. It's so prolific, it's that bougie shit. And when the beat drops like this, yes my, yes my, yes my, yes my brother, baddest kid in the game, sick motherfucker. Sounds like cool, so <laughs> Indian robber. robber. Milk that, milk that, milk that udder. Ooh, Judy Kaiser Chief, Ruby Ruby, I'm um, Scooby Doo, goes to groupie, spooky. Bolter guy grab the booty, Fuji. <laughs> Snap a pick of the booty. Kill him when I get in the zone I'm in my feeling when I'm screaming to be taking the throne And I'm a demon Morgan Freeman Ren Are you addicted to making music videos? It only takes about what? Two weeks to get addicted to something? To anything If you do it every day for two weeks You become addicted to that particular thing that you're doing If you want to quit smoking Be addicted to quitting smoking You know the first two weeks is going to be hard But after that Ping you're addicted to not smoking. There's a lot of things that you can be addicted to. I've only just read up about it. You know, you know, it's just amazing, mad. So my question is, are you addicted to making music videos? And having that closeness directorship towards it? Like, you know, first of all, it came that you see, okay, this is how it's being done. Now you've got some serious creative Thoughts and passion that's going into music videos, just like your lyrical contents. I was looking at this and I was looking at other music videos and I see how much you are totally engrossed in that performance. And all I can see is you having different 
um, sides to yourself. So you've got that singing talented side, but when you're focused that this is the way how I want this video to be, you've got the directorship side there, you've got the coaching side there, and everybody feeds off of you because they see how serious you are and passionate you are when you, turn, when you become a character in that particular music video. So, like I said, I've said it so many times that you're more than a one, you're not a one trick pony. You're not a jack of all trades, master of none. You've got a hell of a lot of trades and you are enjoying mastering all of them. But you've got addictive nature. Which you leave us all hooked by seeing your addictive nature. I'm going to go back and a little bit or else I've been talking for a hell of a lot with that and just been looking at a, a poor screen so no, I'm not going to do that <laughs> so I'm going to go back to about say here when I get in the zone I'm in my feeling when I'm screaming to be taking the throne and I'm a demon Morgan Freeman when I'm flipping the flow I got that short shank sugar shake it in the bone <laughs> damn Jean-Claude Van Damme put on the red light please Roxanne she said I'm a dick when I get out of hand you look quite fit with my dick in your hand <laughs> jump on the bit of my con my run on dun dun I'm the king of the bongo the bongo bong and I'm flipping the shit like a <laughs> bong 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 are you dizzy are you dumb wait just wait a sec wait let me catch my breath I'm about to go beast mode I'm about to go my back I'm the rap and I got the bit of my back on the map I'm rapping the rap and no crap I'm ripping and dripping and fucking tripping and slipping I'm so prolific I'm flipping the track of quickest in Britain I got precision when spitting the fight Come with the rhythm and give the flow Coast to coast I close to be the most explosive You know the closest I get when I start to spit And when the beat drops like this I'm losing it uh. I'm a werewolf out in the moonlight. I'm a blood sucking parasite. I'm a digital vampire. Like a on a new hype, I'm a orbit the earth like a satellite. <laughs> Sex and <laughs> violence glamorized. Tarantino flow, no lullaby. Tom Cruise down the street, vanilla sky. With my sword, I'm a very last. Right, look. If you, I know there's going to be plenty of react reactors um, going to be pausing and saying, Did you hear what he says? Breaking down at bars. I hear the bars. I just want to pause just to say, I hear the bars. I like the Roxanne bar, that was bang on. I hear the bars, but I'm not that kind of person to press pause. Oh my God, did you hear that bar? That bar was absolutely crazy, man. You know, I'm not that person. <laughs> I'm more about focusing on the artists as well as listening to the bars, but I'm, I don't need to comment on the bars. It's right there. He's not like he's speaking in another language. It's amazing. Come on. <laughs> I just wanted to break that down for you. I mean, I just wanted to say that and point that out to you guys. Apologies for pausing, but I think it was necessary because he, <coughs> pardon me, he is saying some serious lyrical contents. And at the point where many, many people would pause and break that down, you know, I'm not the one to break it down. I, I'm looking at his perspective. So when you're looking at Ren's perspective, you don't need to break it down. You understand it straight away. Right. I'm going to go back, <laughs> about say, here. Lullaby, Tom Cruise down the street, vanilla sky. With my sword, See? I'm the very last samurai. It's a mission impossible, make it out alive. <laughs> do you hear it? Do you feel it? Do you feel my vibe? Headshot, baby. I'm fucking it up like I made yeah, it. Tom Sometimes Cruise stuck in the rock, but I break it. Come twice, but in the knot, you can't fake it. Fuck <laughs> my luck, about to double up non-stop. I'm great, I'm about to stop the clock on lock. I break and chop the rhythm up. I make the music just to hype them up. Yes, my brother love each other. I'm an agent undercover. Who's that Mr. Lover Lover? I'm the baddest mother of all. Beep, beep, bye, bye, both from shit. When the beat, wait, wait, wait. Come like, come like, come like, come like, come Spotlight, 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 get on. Red light, green light, red light. Empty chamber, huh? Dead on. Yeah, man, you got some serious Bristol, Brighton, London, Beckham. Kill this shit, man. What you reckon? Back on my bullshit. Did you see what I did there, new kid? On the drop, <laughs> the drop of the music. I twist it, beat it, abuse it. Then rap once again. Pop one, pop two, drop three men. Click, click. Pop one again. Pop myself in the head for revenge. I'm sick with the flow, That's I'm lit with the roll, this shit takes taco. Oh no, you know I'm locomoto, my locomotive is making me blow and come up. Take a rizzle and then I burn up. I'm the Godzilla of the come up. I'm a gorilla in the jungle. I'm losing it. Switch the flow, I can't get it, get it. I'm Mr. Cool, I'm very, very How cool. How would you do that in the wood? It's good, like a bear, a bear in the woods. It's good, it's good, no, and no, I've no, understood no. that I am the one to make the world look, and I am the one to make the world shook, and I am the one for history. 
like it when I'm running the game I'm in a four door four when I'm back in my lane And I'm a more lord than high school will rain And the floorboards, walls and windows will shake The rhythm, the rebel, the bass and the treble The angel, the devil, you're not on my level I'm very unsettled, I'm very disheveled I'm messed in the mantle, just check my credentials Wait, just wait a sec Wait, let me catch my breath I'm about to go beast mode I'm about to go Macbeth Wait, 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 wait. Ah, kill the track with full ambition, wiping out the opposition, stocking up on ammunition, competition, demolition, definition, musician, TV wonder, superstition, repetition, 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 repetition. I'm efficient, kiddy with the disposition. Top, I chop the fuck up like a cosmetician, reignition, I condition tracks with my mouth and vision. Musicians tap the fuck back, cause I'm on a mission. Fisher. So that was Ren with Losing It. And there will be a number of locations that you saw in this music video that you've seen before. The Bongo Man was on the roof in the underground car park, uh, Money Game Part uh, Money Game Part One, um, the Buskin, then he dumped I Shot the Sheriff and various other uh, um, busking live performances on the streets. I thought I saw a part where he done um, Screech and Jenny's Tale, but I'm not too sure. But it seems to me that where he was in that location is where he set up, when he's done majority of his um, music videos. I did say that he, you can tell that he plays a hell of a lot, a strong part in the direction of how the video is going to be. The, you know, the, music director or the video director, whatever you want to call it. They've got so many different kind of titles. I, have, I can't keep up with them. But Ren is full hands-on from A to Z of his production. So he'll make his music in the bedroom or whatever, write the music in his sitting room or whatever, create and sing it, blah, blah, blah. That's done. Then he'll go on to, as he's writing the lyrics, I'm thinking, as he's writing the lyrics, he's pitching how the video, music video is going to be. So he's multitasking. So by the time he finishes writing the lyrical contents, uh, he already knows how the video is going to be. That's what I'm thinking. I could be completely wrong. And then now he sh passes on that information to someone who's going to manage that while he co-manages it. I oh, just how I want this. Oh, this is my idea, mate. But it's, it's like this and blah 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 blah. And sharing that information is of such a, is such a buzz. It's even a massive buzz when somebody understands what you want and gives you much more better than what you even thought that you could even have. You know, that's why you go to somebody who's a professional and you, and you learn the sh crap out of them until, you know, I, I feel that every music video, every song learn, Ren has learned a hell of a lot. I'm going to talk about in his past. Right now, he's reaping the benefits. He's just, you know, he's got it down to the T. Uh, uh, yes, every day you still learn, but, you know, his strongest learning curve was back then when he's doing all the collaborations, when he was with Trick the Fox, when he was with the Big Push. Um, now it's like, okay, you know, I've done all this training. You know, I've trained, 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 trained. Bang, now you know, I'm ready. That's how I feel. And I feel that if... Any of his friends who are in the music industry, especially Sam um, Tomkinson, he works a hell of a lot harder, and he's you know he's dead, 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 dead. I, I feel. But for the females, I want Chitilla and I want Molly McKenna to come up. I really, really do. And I just hope that they are putting in the graph. Look, you don't know when what or how is going to be your favorite song. You know, High Rent went massive. But if you go into his catalogues, I will guarantee you that High Ren would not be, I know, right? Will not be your favourite song out of all of them. It's a potent track, but it wouldn't be your favourite track. It wouldn't even be the track that stands out. That's how much he's got in his catalogue, in abundance of. And when you do check out the collaborations, when you do check out his ballads, when you do check out his reggae, when you do check out his jazz, when you do check out his EDM, you know, when you ch do check out his acoustic guitar elements, then you realise that you've got a massive taste palette to, to claim which one is your favourite and which one is not, rather than being sort of like, 
It's up to you to push it into the corner and say, well, I love High Ren. High Ren's an amazing song. But I can, I can say, I can count about easily five songs that has the same impact as High Ren. And I can, I'm, I, I'm still searching uh, for more Ren gems to say, right, that's better than High Ren. Uh, there is a number of songs uh, um, that I feel personally that is better than High Ren. That has a massive impact, but it depends on what angle that's, that you're coming from. Depending on what life experience and what life choices you've been subdued to, to when you hear certain musics, you have a reflection on them that you can relate to. And which means that you will have a strong, that, that song will have a stronger impact on you rather than these other songs. But I'm telling you, go deep into what is Ren and look and find these Ren gems and you will not be disappointed whatsoever. Really, I think I'm gonna go into finding another reggae song, which is his. I've, you know, I read to high shot. I shot the sheriff, but I know there's a number of other reggae tracks that he's done, which I want to dive into as well, as well as jazz, as well as other stuff as well. But I feel that I, I can almost guarantee that my next reaction of Ren will be a reggae song. But until then, I salute you. Boom. If you want a superstition, repetition, 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 repetition. I'm efficient, giddy with the disposition. Stop, I chop the fuck up like a cosmetician. Reignition, I condition tracks with my rapping vision. Repositions, tap the fuck back, cause I'm on a mission. Fisher.